This flock of sheep has finally come home after escaping wildfires in Oregon. Cowgirl 911 rescues farm animals from horses to pigs and stubborn llamas. Come on. Come on. The volunteer network rescued 20,000 animals this year. Families were having to leave very quickly, but we wanted to make sure that livestock and people's livelihoods got out. Katie Schrock is the creator of Cowgirl 911, which started as a Facebook group. Cowgirl 911 was formed uh, simply in the early morning of the first Tuesday that the wildfires in Oregon started raging. At that point, it was only a couple, but it quickly raised to 39 wildfires, burning almost a million acres at one point in time. The Facebook page started matching people whose animals needed to be evacuated with those who could help. At the height of the wildfires, Cowgirl 911 was receiving hundreds of messages per day and responding within minutes. Someone had you on the phone, verified all of your needs and your location, and was able to give you an update of who was coming, what they were driving, and where they were going to go with your animals. John Reynolds reached out to them when the fire was just a few miles away from his farm. He needed help moving his flock of sheep, a llama, and two horses. Or if you want to hold on to her. It was a matter of a phone call, and within, uh, I'd have to say, three hours, they were moving. His animals received shelter at the Washington County Fairgrounds, along with hundreds of others. I've never been around the magnitude of this many animals um, being displaced in such a short amount of time and the logistics of um, how to keep track of the owners and the animals and where they're going to go and, you know, making sure they're fed. And while volunteers were doing their best to keep the animals healthy and happy, some things were out of their control. They're breathing in this bad smoke and ash, and that's not healthy for them. And when the weather gets so up and down, it, they get so hot and then stressed out, that really, really messes with their system, just the same as it would with a human. There's a couple of pigs that are getting a cough. I know a few of my cows have a cough. Their eyes uh, were pretty, pretty watery and irritated for days, and they're starting to get better. After nearly one week, John finally had the all clear to bring his animals home. Volunteers from Cowgirl 911 offered to drive them back. That's a good feeling, just really good feeling because I know that the animals are so stressed out. So um, I did put it out there. Anybody that needs to take your animals home, we're there to do it that as well. We're not just for the exciting part. The goats and horses hopped off. The llama was more reluctant. So you're gonna slide and eventually your foot's gonna come out. Come on. Let's go. I don't care if you spit on me. Let's go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, there we go. Oh, Oreo. So one of the issues you can get is that horses or cattle or hogs that have maybe only been loaded or unloaded once or twice in their life are now being asked to get on foreign trailers in a smoke storm, bad air quality with strangers trying to contain a sense of urgency when you're in a level two or level three evacuation center. While John does not depend on these animals for his livelihood, commercial livestock is a major source of income in Oregon. In fact, the cattle industry contributed $625 million to the state's economy, making it the third most valuable agricultural product in Oregon last year. When you think of each animal having an investment value of $3,500 to $5,000 an animal, that's really shocking, and, and the loss of that is absolutely devastating. And while you may have insurance that covers for that one year, you, your insurance may not cover for future uh, offspring that we're going to help supplement your herd. And that's one of the reasons why, as the fires raged on, many locals stepped up to help. It has restored, I think, uh, all faith in humanity for me. We had people going into um, places that were you know, on fire and rescuing animals without a second thought. Getting them home and just seeing how happy that they are and comfortable in their own place and how happy the owners are is just, it's worth it. It's all worth it. All the zero hours of sleep that we've gotten in seven days, is, it's all worth it.